Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair. Have you ever wished that you had an extra hard drive or partition to set up a dual boot or multi boot operating system? You can shrink the existing partitions to create a new partition, but it always carries some risk of data loss on that hard drive. From the beginning of Windows 7, you can create a virtual hard drive called a VHD that will act like a separated hard drive in your computer. The virtual hard drive is pretty much stored as a VHD file that can pretty much be a physical disk and it can be mounting a virtual hard drive that can easily copy files from one from another virtual disk. Additionally, this can also work on Windows 10, Windows 8, and 7 so you can be configured to boot from a VHD. In this tutorial, we'll be showing you how you can go through these steps by creating a virtual hard drive in Windows 10. Let's go ahead and get started. So first thing you do, you pretty much go to search right here, or technically if you type in the Windows R key, it'll bring up the run. Or if you want to, you can also kind of search for run, and it'll bring up the run, you get the point. Regardless, we're going to go ahead and type in com comp mgmt.msc. And pretty much this is what you're going to type in, and press enter. And pretty much it's computer management. We're going to go ahead and expand this. And then from there, we're going to go on the left side where it says disk manager. Go ahead and select it. It might take a little second for it to load up, but it's fine. And next, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and right click on disk management. And we're going to select create VHD right here. Now, you can store it wherever you want to. By default, I'm actually going to store this here on the C drive. So to get to there, there's pretty much C drive right there. I'm going to name it um, virtual underscore drive. Simple as that. So it's just a virtual drive. And that's how it's going to be set up. Right here, there's two different changes here. This is the port on virtual dr disk drives up to 240. That means 2 terabits. You understand that this is not going to be able to work on 2 terabits. If you ever do 2, you can enable it right here. You would select the VHDX that goes more up to 64 terabits but again that is a crazy size storage so I'm just going to go ahead and leave the VHD by the default support virtual disk right there. Now on here where it says virtual hard drive size I'm going to put 20 gigs and not megabytes we're going to put gigabytes. That's going to be needed for this to work and after doing this we're going to go ahead and press OK. It'll take a little second because it says right now on the bottom it says creating a virtual disk. Let it do its work. And on the right side it's going by percentage right here creating its little list. So let it do its own work right now. Alrighty, so here is the current disk that has been created, the 20 gigs that we did right there. What we're going to do is we're going to head to select it and right click on it right here. Not this part, this part right here. And right click and select initialize disk. And it'll tell us if you want to initialize it. You can choose different types. You want it to be an MBR or a GPT. Um, technically, I like MBR because technically it's an old layout, but it like, can create a some tools on... Um, out there that can pretty much make a boot still on Windows 10 too, but I'm just going to leave it as an MBR. You can change it depending if there's a more newer device on it, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that and press OK. So here it is. It's pretty much valid. It's initialized and it's up. Next thing you do is select a new simple volume because you need this for this hard drive to actually be valid. From there, we're going to go ahead and press Next. And then I'm pretty much going to leave the default size of what is currently set here. You can actually can split this into other partitions inside that other disk right there. Regardless, I'm just going to leave it as is. And then we can assign, if you want it to be a specific letter, I'm going to go ahead and just leave it as E. Again, depending on your area, it could be like D, it could be F, it could be any of those. Depending on this, I'm going to use it as E. And I'm going to press Next. It won't technically matter on a signed drive letter because it's only on your current computer that will be assigned to us. If you put it on a, let's say you have it on an external, it will think on a different one based on another device whenever you plug it on that computer. It could be different. 
So next we're going to choose selections. Uh, we can change this name to whatever you want to. So I can say this new volume to be my data file. So if I want to, you understand it can be named whatever you want to be. You can type for it. And you can choose in different formats. I'm going to leave it as NTFS. That's pretty much used for hard drives. And I'm going to go ahead and press next. And you have the option right here where it says quick format. I'm going to leave it as quick format because we don't need to do a low format. So it's not even a, well, technically it's like a virtual hard drive. And just leave it as is to do the work quicker. So let's press next and press finish. And it just said that it is just finished creating that file. So we're going to go ahead and just X this out and see if there is a new hard drive that has been created. We're opening up this PC. Now technically, if you don't have it on your desktop, you can hit pretty much File Explorer right here. And then there's this PC. And here we have it, our 20 gigabyte hard drive, a virtual hard drive that we created on Windows 10. Thank you for watching from Houghton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.